come through. Yo, I freaking love this new method of how I apply my hair. So you guys, what's up? What's poppin'? What's good? Showing you how I applied my wig. I got a new method of how I apply my wigs because I was applying them before and it was like getting too gunky. It was getting too in the mess. It was just too much, sis. Like it was too much. They were it literally takes you less than an hour to apply your wig. It don't even take it won't even take you an hour for real. This hair is going to be from Ally Pearl Hair. I got four bundles of 34 inch and I got a frontal, sis. I got a frontal and it's a 20 inch frontal. I'm looking real, real snacky like. Like, I don't like somebody to take me on a date, sis. That's what I'm looking like. So, okay. what's up, you guys? I'm here today, and I'm in my bathroom. So, pretty much, this is on some regular schmegler stuff. In the bathroom, and I'm like, you know what? Let me show them how I apply my wigs now, because I do apply my wigs a new method. Also, you see these little meat mill braids? Baby girl, my hair is long enough to get braided, but it's so short that it literally comes out, because these braids are only like a week old, and they were fresh as fuck when I first got them, so hence the pick but they're like getting a little scraggly now but you know how it is when you wear wigs like you don't need a fresh braid out every time you girl do something so i feel like i'm good this new method is really really easy um it's still dealing with got to be glue but it's not the got to be glue gel i'm gonna be using the blast and freeze spray today and this is a very very strong spray no it's not sponsored this is just a video that i wanted to show you guys i'm going to be using these knee highs i got this idea from ivy ivy dear you know that's my bed so what had happened was Ivy was saying she uses knee highs, and I was like, you know what, that's a good idea. And then it's actually cheaper. How many pairs? You get five pairs of sheer leg sets. So basically, you get ten little knee highs. So here's the little wig cap. I ended up getting this one because this is my flesh tone skin color, as you guys can tell. Another tip that you can do with this one is you actually can get the plus size ones. So I just got the regular ones, but um, I'm gonna get the plus size ones next because you figure it'll be bigger. Cause with these, they are a little tight, so I have to stretch them to put it on my head. I ended up getting this alcohol. This is 91% alcohol, it's very, very strong. And when I use this, it cleans my hairline. So I'm gonna actually take one of my rags, put the alcohol on like this, and just clean my, as it's taking it, cleaning the hairline. Cause if it's makeup or anything, it's not gonna clean as good. It's not gonna stick as good. This method does last me for like three to four days. I don't put as much spray. I just use a smaller amount. Also with me, I'm gonna be using my ear tabs. Like I'm like to have a little bit of sideburn, so I'm gonna clean right there too. This is how I put it on. Make sure you brush in this hair back. And like I said, it's gonna be a little tight, but I got something for all that, honey, cause I'm, I don't play this kind of game. Bitch, I can't even say ho. Bitch, I got that money. Okay, so pretty much, this is the tightest part is this band right here. This right here is actually good, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna take my little shaver. So this is what I like to use. I pretty much take this and cut the band. So my circulation is not cut. And see how much it released right there. I need to have this, if I'm gonna spray this, you see right here, that is not complete. This is flat to my head. This is not flat to my head. So what I like to do is a new little method of me taking this near my ear. You see, I took that right there near my ear. And then I'm pretty much going to cut a little teeny hole on the inside where my ear is, basically making a T shape. Now you're gonna see why I'm doing this. And you don't want the hole to be too big. The hole to be too big. And what I do is I actually pull my ear through. Now you're like, why do you pull your ear through? Because think about it. If I want this to lay flat to my head, I'm going to spray this. And when I spray it, it's gonna be flat. Also, this is a really good method for when you want to have your full lace wigs and a ponytail. And I did a full lace wig for my ponytail for my birthday and I did it. I showed you guys how to get that look. You have to make sure you make the hold smaller so when you do it, your air can actually fit in it and it's not big. Because you have to think, this is stocking, so when you cut it, it's gonna expand. So you just make a little hole and then pop your air on through. And I'm literally going to spray it. Now we're using a hairspray, I take my finger, and I guide it around me. Cause if you just put it on, look at it. It just drips. So I need to guide this to where it should be. My wigs when I used to use got to be and having a jelly. I did a video on that, but y'all it took so long. Like it would take so long for this to dry. You don't need a dryer for this method. You don't need none of that. You just, and this dries just fast as hell. 
this is where we at with it right here see you see my hair coming through drips down like this side you see how i came down there it's no big deal but we perfectly don't want to do that so what i'm going to do is i let this dry i come back and i do another layer now the way i let know it's dry is because it's wet right now so i can feel it hardening that's when i know it's dry I for maybe like 15 10 probably 10 minutes 10 15 minutes i do another layer i do that three times and then i go ahead and do what i gotta do okay you guys so this is the way it should look you see how it is it's like real dry like so pretty much it's good on being ready to be applied. Everything is darker, you know that is where you can actually cut, but we're gonna go above. I don't have my good scissors today, so I'm gonna just kinda make it do what it do. So today I'm gonna be using a wig from Ally Pearl. And what I'm gonna do is to prep this wig is go through, turn the wig inside out, and then take my Fenty Beauty and actually spray it on the base of this, um, the lace wig. Now when doing that, it coating, coats the lace to the same color as my skin because this lace is not the same color as my skin like it's too dark it looks okay but it's not like exact and then i'm going to actually put this on this portion too so that basically everything is going to have no choice but to be seamless because it's all going to be the same and i'm going to actually cut this little portion and then see how it just stays on its own you know before when we did it with it it would just be like it wouldn't look like this. It wouldn't be this down. I might need to use my razor for around here because I can't get close to it. Shaver is actually working. So see that? We want to make sure we get as close as freaking possible. So with doing this, you see this is glued down. I mean, this is sprayed down. So when I pull it back gently, it actually will lift it. Cause we don't want it to be no little squiggly. We want it to be as close as possible to the hairline without actually being on the hairline. And we also want it to be, okay, for example, see how that's seamless? That looks really good. But then down here you have this little piece down here. See that? That's what you don't want. That's what we try to avoid. Working out better. So I'm glad it, we did need to use this. Because look at it, it's giving me, it's giving me that vibe of basically being close. And my hairline goes out and in, so I like to do it the same way. And then look, you have an ear tab. Now this is just extra cap back here. And you can just cut it off if you don't want it. It literally just hangs back there. Now, if you guys want me to show you how I do the full lace wig in a ponytail video, I'll show you how to seal that down and everything and get that done. Baby these pieces off that we don't need anymore. Some of them like this, that's kind of a lot. So what I'll do is take my finger, spray a little on my finger, actually spray it down. It won't do nothing, but if you like put it on and touch it and poke it and push it down, it should actually seal in. Cause we don't want that in our, our way. So basically we'll take this rag, clean it up. It's basically spray. So when you go to clean it, it's gonna come right off. It's gonna come right off. And you don't even have to rub too much. Cause even though when you apply your wig, you might not see it. When you apply makeup, you're gonna see the difference. Cause it's gonna make your makeup shinier. You guys can see a big color transformation. Not from this part, but like right here. See a big color transformation. This is just the coated. This is the wig. So I went ahead and put it, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my head. Spray on it, but I'm gonna spray above the front of where it's supposed to be. And it could sting a little bit depending on the placement. Oops, we right on where the hairline is or where I made the hairline. I'm gonna spray like, I'm gonna put my finger a little bit in front and a little bit on it. Take my wig. and put it, the placement. This wig's already been worn before. Cause I've been had this wig since like a while ago. I had two black wigs that everybody kept asking about and this was one. Y'all probably like, oh it look like a ball spot, sis. I know, I did the shits. So they ain't got them do the company, I just over plugged. But I only use this wig for like one style anyway, so it don't even matter. And then I'm gonna like, Take my finger, make sure it's on it. 
I want it on cool setting because I don't want it hot. Because when it gets hot, it's going to melt it. Push it down. Push it down. It's coming together. And then just take your brush as you brush. Brush it back. Figure out what pieces need a little bit more reinsurance, like that part. I like to pull to keep this little tab down and work from there. I like to pull the wig completely back. I'll take an old scarf, pretty much, or you can take a dry wrap, dry wrap strips that I always show you guys. So, just spray a little piece on top. Just a little bit. Some pieces loose. I'm gonna actually put my scarf on. Hold, I'm gonna, like just put it down to see if I can lay it real quick. Then I'm gonna take this. Tie it for like five minutes. Oh, she is melted. So basically I just go through, brush the little hairs up. Some of them or stuck, I just go through the clean up real carefully. Some people don't like the way I pluck my frontals. I like the way I do because when I swoop my baby hairs, it looks good to me. I'm gonna see you guys after I curl my hair. But my hair, I ended up curling it, but it turned out a little bit more curlier than I wanted it to be, but it's okay, it's no issues. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You guys, I'm almost at freaking 500K. I'm almost at half a milli, sis. Like, eh, mm, mm. Don't forget to tell your brother, sister, mother, grandmother to subscribe to me, follow me, watch a video, thumbs up, give it a like. Thank you for staying tuned to my hair reviews because you know niggas don't be liking where I watch hair reviews no more for real. But y'all still watch my shit so I appreciate that from the heart. So I'll see you in my next video. My next video will be 500k by my next video. Bitch, I ain't crying on here. Y'all gonna have to just see me in my next videos. I'll be acting because this.